So, curious minds for game two. Um, probably gonna see something different. I hope so. I don't know what these weird square bits are. Um, when the game's loading now, that's a bit strange, isn't it? I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so last game, um, double proxy racks uh, with the racks at home for Super V. Uh, pretty cheesy, pretty unpleasant um, build. You know, it's the sort of thing, if you know it's coming and you've got a bunker, you make a mockery of it and it's a painful, painful thing for the player that played it because they've invested so much into those two racks. They're on the other side of the map. They've got to fly them home and they won't be producing. They've committed to Marines for far too long. Their expo is behind yours. Their tech is behind yours. And all you've got to do is hold it and then you're so far ahead. It's painful. Um, if you don't know it's coming though, mm, uh, and it blindsides you as it did at Random Banana, then your chances of holding are pretty slim. However, there were opportunities for Random Banana to hold that. Um, you know, after the first wave of Marines that he did manage to kill, his actions then were to try and tech up. You know, he threw down the tech lab in the factory instead of getting a widow mine out. He was building a depot and no bunker. Um, and I feel like that's when the mistake was made. Um, but, you know, in all fairness, it is hard when your opponent uh, has got three racks and you've got one. It is always going to be pretty difficult to hold. Um, so this time, you know, he's out checking for uh, proxies um, and on this occasion there are none. So yeah, random banana building a reaper, uh, super V building a reaper um, and the reaper timings are very, very similar. Uh, random banana with the orbital command coming down um, super V content to just continue building workers uh, for the time being. It's kind of up to you, really. Um, you know, often I'll saturate the minerals here before um, before going for the orbital. Uh, quite often I'll build the orbital after the second supply depot. Um, so you're building workers, you've got marines coming out as well and you find that you're approaching the um, supply block so it's rather convenient timing at that moment to turn your command center into an orbital command because uh, you don't want a supply block on your worker production and um, anyway uh the point is it doesn't matter too much no um super v has got three racks at home he likes a three racks build um so he is going to have a fair number of reapers coming here and random banana is going for a quick reactor here and this could be a little bit problematic so there's a couple of reapers here he is building a bunker at front and he needs to get that bunker finished so it's worth sending a couple of SEDs down here to finish this up um seeing two reapers like that is a good they can't come from one racks there isn't enough of a gap between those uh, for those to have come from one racks, I feel. Uh, so that should be a bit of a giveaway that you're playing um, several racks uh, on the other side of the map. Uh, the SEV is going to build a depot here. Arguably, you need a couple to keep these Reapers out. Does he know how many there are? He doesn't yet. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, nobody likes a Reaper build. Nobody in the world likes mass Reapers. Um, it's a disgusting build. Uh, anyway, here they are. Does Random Banana have an answer to it? He has got three racks of his own. Um, the problem he's got at present is the Reapers are already here and Marines are coming out. Now, Marines can be fine. He has finished the bunker at the front um, and the Reapers actually are dying. But generally, you know, one to one, Reapers do beat Marines is the problem. So you have to fight these Reapers with your SCDs as well as the Marines uh, to get the kill. And that starts to feel a bit painful. It starts to feel a bit expensive. Um, Meanwhile, Super V has uh, got his tech lab done, he's building a reactor, he's building workers, so there's no further commitment to this. Um, what I can say in Random Banana's favour is he hasn't stopped building workers, so he is still cranking out workers, and that is the correct thing to do. So he has cleaned this up, and if we look at the worker supply, it is nine workers advantage for Super V, however, he is on a single CC, whereas Random Banana has got two CCs and can therefore build SCVs two at a time. So you'd like to think that Random Banana can close the gap, 
Um, he needs some scouting information. He needs to know what's coming his way. Uh, for the time being, it's nothing but barracks. Look at this. There is a factory coming, but but my goodness, all of these reactored. Um, and with the double tech lab, we're getting stim and combat sheets simultaneously. The expo is going down, so um, yeah, I don't know. Super V maybe with uh, the Reaper might go find himself with an awful lot of money. Um, and has decided to turn it into marines but he doesn't really have a mineral bank anymore so i don't know um but yeah you'd have to expect a lot of marines are going to be coming i mean the sev this is pretty good the sev dies to a reasonable number of marines so that gives you a big old clue but it was marines they died to random banana that scv died to marines not reapers so yes have the bunker up and running but where's the tech lab on this factory this time there aren't there isn't stuff imminent so you can get that tech lab done you can get a siege tank out but look this is coming super v is not going to give you time to breathe as soon as stim finishes he's going to be pushing up the ramp it's going to depend on reaction times a lot here these barracks are idle and I, that's suicide you know we, we're we're five minutes in and your unit count is not high but your barracks aren't building anything so finally marines start up but there is a pretty big marine advantage here um, with combat shield and stim done. So no worker pull, so, oh my goodness, so the barracks does not get repaired at all. So Random Banana um, is pulling his marines, which is probably sent, oh no, no, not on the rally point, that's a bit painful. So he needs all of his marines to attack at once. If he can do that, these are a bit stimmed out. Um, he can probably hold this, uh, now that the siege tank is on, you can definitely push down here. You can you can kill this random banana. You don't have to flee from it. Uh, you know, drop both the depots, send the tank and the marines down, and you can you can get you can get rid of this. Um, let's look at the worker con. It, random banana is ahead now on workers. He needs to get a meta back up, uh, and that just ends this instantly. As soon as your marines have got a meta back, and these ones don't, these are out of here. So Super V feels he's done a good enough job and is going home let's take stock here random banana has a third cc available to him not on location just yet he is ahead in worker count but significantly behind in army if we look at the upgrades um, he doesn't have combat shield yet and it isn't in the production tab either so he does need to sort that out and uh, he does have the ability to build siege tanks he has got a medevac on the way so all things considered it's actually pretty even at the minute random banana um you know, with this extra command center, can actually recoup uh, the lost workers pretty quickly. Super V has not yet saturated. You know, here we are at seven and a half minutes. The Super V has only got four workers mining on the natural. So he's not in great shape. He has played a very aggressive style and might feel that he's got quite a lot of work done. But there's no upgrades happening. There's no um, engineering bay for Super V and there's no uh, no significant tech and uh, no, it does yeah he does have one siege tank um you know and in tbt siege tanks are tend to be king don't they siege tanks are where it's at uh, so yeah the medevac moving out the bunker hasn't been replaced and the medevac is going to be on the other side of the map when this hits this could be a bit painful there are medevacs with this there is no additional medevac at home this oh no there isn't even one building there isn't this siege tank the position of it isn't great um i mean it's fine for defending your men but it, it's not going to help you against the stuff that's about to come up oh he's going to go for the drop in but where is the medevac from random banana it's taking its sweet time it hasn't no boost has been used on that yet so i think super v is going to hit the front and here at the same time now this siege tank is actually turns out to be really well placed as it is just going to go ahead and, and do a lot of hack oh but it's a pretty good stim forward let's see what happens on the other side of the map i think random banana is in trouble here unfortunate timing you've got to say had his marines been at home still with the medic back he could have fared an awful lot better but the bigger problem for random banana was that idle time on these barracks you just cannot afford to not be building this stuff you cannot if you're going to go for marines and then, you know there's five racks here with a couple of reactors as well if you're going to go for five of it you sure do need to build a lot of that you cannot have idle time on those racks you cannot super v goes to oh, up gg